name's Adam Harvey. I'm a solution architect for AV and digital media at the University of Hertfordshire. Um, my role is university wide, so it's basically looking after all of the AV strategy design and project work that we do here. So the university have been very proactive in developing the campus for a lot of years actually. We've, we've had master plans that uh, have changed the shape of the campuses as we've gone through the years. The, the end goal is to provide, you know, state-of-the-art teaching facilities for students really. It, the project itself was actually a singular large project but broken up into phases. So we had the Forum Lecture Theatre which was the largest lecture theatre space the university has and it's the showpiece lecture theatre. There was also the Prince Edward Hall space. They wanted to be able to have a space which was a flat floor lecture theatre presentation space, a space where you could have breakout teaching, a space which you could have collaborative teaching. And then we also had, in addition to that, the uh, university's executive boardroom that needed to be refreshed as well. LED was always on the cards. Um, we had various cost models and I think initially the way we were going was projection. There's a lot of buzzwords going around with these projects, you know, wow factor and, you know, flagship you know, something they can use for external events, stuff like that. And you, you are thinking, you know, in my mind, LED was absolutely the way forward for it. It was just, you know, driven by budget. So we looked at various different technologies that would, that would meet that brief, really. Um, so we looked at projection, we looked at LED, but the life cycle was the main focus, really. We did actually do a full analysis document stating the life cycle costs of projectors and the life cycle costs of LED and uh, LED one at the end of it, basically. So as the LED and image processing specialist within Midwich Group, we offered GV a lot of support around the hardware solutions and assisted them with professional services across the campus. So for the two large auditorium spaces, we provided Sharp NEC's 1.2mm direct view LED. Alongside that, we had the processor, which is a TV1 Corio Master 2 to help drive the inputs and sources. We've been using NEC products for a long, long time. You know, they, they have been pretty much our go-to display technology. They've always been good working with us to sort of provide us some advice and some idea about what we should be looking at. So we, we researched several products and actually we found that, you know, the, the NEC product was probably the, the right one for the space. Yeah, so the install started with uh, early site visits when the main contractor was still on site. We worked with the main contractor from an early stage talking about cable runs, cable pools, power and services. There were some key challenges to the install, um, one of which was the LED itself. Um, the substructure behind the wall itself was uh, actually unknown to us on the point of handover. So um, our partners PSCO came in and they did some testing and some pre-drilling into the walls to see what was in there and to make sure that it was fitted securely and safely. This wall, when it went in was it's you know it's, it's nine meters by three and a half meters it's, it's 4k um, I think it's got over 13 million LEDs in it and each of those LEDs has something like four soldable legs on it so that's something like 53 million potential points of failure so given that looking at the wall when it went in it, it went in very well very quickly you know it just looks incredible when you watch something on this in 4k it's like going to an IMAX cinema you know, being able to display 4K, that solved a number of problems with some of our creative arts schools. You know, we've, we're running courses that are using 4K and up to that point, we didn't really have anywhere that they could natively show content. But everybody actually, I mean, we're a business facing university, so engaging with businesses and the external community is really key for us. And to have a, like a flagship showcase, you know, venue like that, we can bring people to. It's, it really is a, a standout resource that we've got now for the university. So this project really is stand up. You know, we're talking about a project made up of three phases that spanned over a year and each space was unique and each space had a different requirement in regards to the way they're going to be utilised for teaching, but also the technology that's been deployed through the AV over IP systems, through the LED, through the audio systems. I also believe that as a university, they're always at the forefront of the AV trends in education. This definitely um, showcases that. So yeah, feedback on the, the LED installations has been really good. I mean, obviously the, the, the large one in the forum, the display is incredible, you know, and all the users 
have, have commented on it. I mean, other spaces, the Prince Edward Hall installation looks great, but it's a really, really interesting space. It's, it's a new type of resource for the university. It's, 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 it's a real flagship resource that we've got for that. They've, they've changed how the university is providing teaching spaces. It, it's, you know, it's not about bums on seats in rooms. This is it's about creating a great resource for people to use. You know, it, it's providing the right facilities that people need to use for the, for the content they're trying to show.